Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right! Welcome to a uh, find haul video. Yes, this is something a little bit different for Saturday. That's because I didn't have a normal Friday. Yeah, well, while you're here, check out our Facebook page, uh, Roverland. And while you're here, make sure you smash the like button. All right, let's get into it. So this is a haul from the 43rd, 45th anniversary um Jefferson Car Show slash swap meet in Jefferson, Wisconsin, just like the president, Jefferson, Wisconsin. So I grabbed my sweets and uh, took a half day's uh, work on a very rainy, drizzly day on Friday uh, and went to this meet. Now they normally do Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, uh, but we had the uh, club meet our regular club meet that we go to every month on that Saturday. So I was able to finagle out of work and uh, we took off. All right, so let's check it out. So uh, I got some uh, that, uh, got some interesting stories, but anyway, let's uh, start right here. I got this little bugger for a buck. Yeah, it needs a little cleaning up, but look at that. The envelope sticker on it is pretty, pretty nice. Yeah. Not too bad. Of course, you have to have the custom carpet fibers in the axle. That was pretty neat. Here's one uh, for a buck. Yeah. Look at the corrosion underneath that paint. That's interesting. Um, I'm not really sure if that's the emergency unit or rescue unit, but uh, yeah, pretty cool to get a Corgi Juniors um, for a dollar. Uh, most of these... Um, Vendors were under, um, they, it was at the Jackson County, is it Jackson County Fairgrounds? So it was nice. We had a trip from one building to the other building in the rain, but uh, but the most of this hunting and stuff was under shelter, so it wasn't too bad. They do have a bunch of uh, outdoor vendors, which uh, pretty much they didn't do anything. They weren't up because... Uh, it was rainy and windy. Look at this bugger here. Yeah, there was a guy, he had a box, uh, probably six inches by six inches by six inches, full of Tootsie toys. So I promptly dumped them all out and got one beautiful Land Rover Tootsie toy and found another nice looking green Tootsie toy, Land Rover, and then I found this bugger. <laughs> Isn't this unique? It like It is like a different color, but it's the same color, I think. I don't know. Um, I'd have to really check, but the nice thing is somebody customized the wheels on it with some uh, white wall tires. Isn't that cool? Oh, they even got the headlights. That's really awesome, and some taillights. So that was kind of neat. So, yeah, this guy, it was an old feller. He uh, he saw me messing around with these Tootsie Toys. Uh, I think they all came to a dollar a piece. Yeah, yeah. Go check those out on eBay, what they're going for. Anyway, uh, so the story was I was messing around with those, and the old guy comes over, and he's like, yeah, how about the whole box for $7? And I'm like, oh, cheese balls. I don't need the whole box because they weren't all Land Rovers and whatnot. Um... Walking through, I got, uh, let's see if we can kind of, uh, oh yeah, pick this one up for two bucks. That was nice at another place. Uh, a little rough on the card, but hey, man, it's uh, stored nicely, mint in the package. Um, this was the Biff Bamboom series, or flags, flag series, but it is on a Range Rover card. I'll have to double check to see how rare that is. Yeah. Keep that in mind, rare. Um, one of the other ones that uh, I walked up to, um, feller had a couple of these, but bam, look at this. And uh, yeah, he uh, very, very nice condition. 
Uh, you know, these guys are going from one swap meet to another swap meet. So, you know, getting uh, cards that are in really decent shape are a gem. And uh, see this here, this is from the packaging, uh, the box that this car came in. That wasn't even damaged from, um, that's a telltale sign. But anyway, here you go. Look at these buggers, uh, 07 or 08, yes. So uh, full metal jacket, yeah. So uh, I uh, once again, I think um, I think I paid five bucks a piece for these, but man, mint on the card like this, yeah, all day long we'll do that. And then uh, I'll get rid of that bag. Sorry about that little flash. Uh, then here's a Biff Bam Boom series. I don't remember what I paid for this. Maybe a buck or two. Yeah, pretty pretty nice. Yes. So I'm uh, gonna tell you, I found a lot of uh, Range Rovers uh, on the blue card, Hot Wheels. Uh, so yeah, that's all right. Nothing wrong with that. We'll we'll take uh, all the Range Rovers you can handle, huh? All right. So let's go to this pile right here. Uh, this uh, this fella, I bought quite a bit from this fella here. Uh, let me see if I can bring bring this down just a little bit. And uh, yeah, so. Um, I'm going through his stash, and he had them on bread trays, which was pretty neat and convenient. And uh, I don't know if you guys can, yeah, you guys can see this. Uh, the prices are all over the price, place, $3, $4, $5, and he was just kind of trying to get out of the business. Now, um, interestingly enough, um, now these are two different cards, but the same car. So this one was $3 here, as you see, and uh, my suites already took the price tag off on this one. Uh, so I'm going through these bins, these, these uh, Range Rovers were in another place, and I think they, uh, regardless of price or what they say, two bucks I think they were. So yeah, that, I can't, I, I can't go bad about that, you know. Well, this one was in a different box, and you know, I'm digging on all the boxes. He had $10 on this one. And uh, of course he's following me around trying to uh, give me wonderful customer service. And uh, I'm like, um, uh, why is this one $10? Cause he'd already seen me pick out all these and we put them in a, in a box to, uh, for me to take, you know? And I said, what's up with, uh, why $10 for this one? And he promptly uh, replied, it's rare. <laughs> and apparently, uh, according to uh, my better half, uh, I looked over my uh, rim of my glasses and gave him a, <laughs> a look, and yeah, rare. You're talking to the wrong guy to tell me that that's rare. Uh, no, that's not really rare. <laughs> but we got a chuckle out of that. That was pretty funny, uh, pretty cool. Yeah, he, he gave it to me for what, two or three bucks? I don't know. I, I don't know if I got the two bucks out of him, but... But uh, yeah, it was. It's rare. <laughs> They're all rare, right? <laughs> all right. So then I went to uh, a couple other spots and uh, borrowed a bag here. Oh yeah, I got this from uh, one fella. He had to call his uh, boss guy because he was out and about, and uh, uh, he had a table of pullbacks. And so I'm like, uh, how much for this, you know, do these pullbacks go for, you know? And, uh, you know, he had a lot of imports and everything. He only had this one welly uh, there. This is nice. It's got the opening doors and all. Uh, the back doesn't open, does it? No. Yeah, but the uh, opening doors do. But anyway, I, I kind of just, you know, um, I don't like picking up the item and saying how much for this because then, you know, that gives them the opportunity to say, oh, you know, in their mind, they're thinking, and I'm assuming, presuming, um, oh, that guy wants that one, you know, uh, the price is going to be higher. So what I usually do is this was sitting on a table uh, full of other pullbacks, and I'm like, how much for these pullbacks here? And uh, he said, oh, I have to talk to the boss man, and the boss man said over the phone, five bucks. I'm like, all right, I'll take this one. Well, they did ask which one I was interested in. And uh, so, yeah, I got that one for five bucks, which is an awesome deal. And then that guy picked up these. Now, I don't need these. I have a ton of these, but um, I think the pair was five bucks. They started out like five bucks a piece, and I put them down 
because uh, yeah, the, that's too much uh, for these and for what inventory I have. But for two of them for five, I picked them up. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, uh, then I went uh, next door. We're almost done, we're almost done. Uh, went next door to uh, the next place. I'm trying to get these so you can see the, the nice shot here of all the finds. Um, went to the next place and I can't believe I found this and you're gonna see the price on it. I think it had a price on it, yeah. But bam, check this out, Mini GT. Now these folks, they um, um, specialized in green light and auto world and Mini GTs. They had a whole bunch of stuff like that. And look at that. Yeah, 10 bucks. I'm like, you got any more of those? And <laughs> no, mint in the package, 10 bucks. So I picked that one up. So yeah, there you go. There's the number if you can read it. So awesome deal there at the uh, 45th Jefferson Auto Car Show Swap Meet. Awesome. All right, that's it for a Monday. I got to get out of here. Thanks for joining me for a special, um, yeah, uh, haul video. Yeah, there's no boxes to undo or anything like that. But uh, there you go. All righty, folks. Make sure you give me that big thumbs up. Subscribe. I'm out of here. You guys enjoy your week. And as always, remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.